Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to create a machine learning model using Xcode with minimal knowledge about machine learning algorithms. The model we will create is an image classifier. The example we are taking is an image classifier which classify or categorize plants. So first of all, to train the model, we need data set. I have created a folder here called plant classifier in that I have created two folders train and test the training folder where the you will put the images which we will use for training the machine learning model and the test folder will have images which we will use to evaluate how well our model is working the image data set can have multiple plants but for example, I have only taken two, climbing roses and high adventures. So in the train and test both folders, I have created one folder per class or category. So climbing roses and high adventures, that means we are dealing with only two classes or categories here. In climbing roses, I have put some images for the climbing roses. In the high adventures, we have some images for high adventures. Same in the test. Uh, make sure that in the test folder, you have different images than the training since these images will let us evaluate how well model will work in the uh, real application all right so now once we have our data set ready we will open xcode in xcode we will go to the xcode menu open developer tool and create ml option this will open create ml for us we are going to create a new project so we will use new document you can store this new document anywhere so i'm just using this plant classifier folder for now now from here there are multiple type of models which we can create we since we are going to do image classification we will use image classification option let's call it my image classifier and create so the project has been created now we need to tell us where the training data can be found it will tell us there are 30 items and there are two classes which is correct so now let's do the test data and here is the test data has 14 items and two classes so in the training and test data the training data should be more test data should be lesser there can be different balance, for example, 20 to 80, so 20 percent is test data and 80 percent is the training data. So, but training data is always more. Validation data is an, a middle testing. If you want, you can create a validation data set also and you select from here or it will automatically create it from the training data. Now, here are the feature extractor. Uh, we can use version 1 or version 2. There are two versions available. Let's try with version 1 first. And now here is the augmentation. Augmentation means different versions of the same images created. So there will be multiple images. So right now, if we have 15 images per class, it, it will add multiple. It will add noise and create a new image. It will blur and create a new image. It will crop, flip, rotate, and create multiple. So augmentation is really, really good way of creating more data in image classification now there we go now let's train so it's it actually make our life real easy so it is telling us that it, there is a good accuracy over there so test accuracy is 86 percent and uh, so 12 were correct and incorrect were two so 86 percent is not a bad accuracy but if we would like to improve the accuracy we can try different things so we can do more training or we can go and try to change the settings now let's try to change the image feature a different image feature version so this time let's use version 2 and let's see if it makes any difference we can also increase the number of iteration. So let's make it 35 and let's see what happens. All 
all right and you can see that the test accuracy increased to 93 percent from 86 percent all right so the feature version 2 worked better for us you can also drop some new images and see how your model work let me see if i can find some okay so for example if i have these two images and i will drag and drop it there it is processing and it tells that it's a climbing rose which we can see is correct so it's a kind of an application where you can work with these things and in the output you can also go and download this model let's call it my model and save it in the plant classifier and this model has been saved here and we can use this model with ios application in a coming video we will see how to do that so that was all for today thank you very much for watching